Welcome back to the Wealth Around Us, folks. This is going to be another episode of the Wild Edibles series. And this is one of my big favorites. I did have a video on this until the channel got hit, but uh, this tall stuff here is wild onion grass. And this is a particularly handsome specimen, so I thought I would show you up close. We get a nice itemized they grow in thin clumps together makes them kind of easy to pull up these would be real easy to pull up you see it's got these long fronds on it it will definitely have an oniony smell so let's go ahead and see if we can coerce these guys that yep coerce them right out of the ground beat them like this till all the stuff comes off of them and as you can see the root system those are indeed, they call these chives, they call them onion grass, meadow onion. I've heard a lot of different names, but it's all the same stuff. It's chives. And they have, as they get into the ground, they get a more papery covering. Like that, you can see right there. And the roots. Now, you can eat all parts of this, and I think I will just snap me off a piece here to munch on while we're walking but as you can see how dispersed it gets and then it will get big more established patches like this you see here but all this standing up out of it is the stuff and as you can see there's plenty to eat if I were to sit out here and pull every little stand I found some of these are actually like these I mean look at the sheer vertical on these onion grass stalks. I mean, this is like a chef's dream out here. Mmm, they're nice and strong. Yet yeah, not too. Oh yeah, those are strong, garlicky. Real strong on them big, taller ones. Real hot now that I'm tasting it too. You could use that as garlic, no problem. So that was actually not the onion grass, that's the meadow garlic. But this stuff will save you from scurvy. It's packed with nutrients. It's just, you know, there's nothing really bad about it. There you have it. One single one of the onion grass slash meadow garlic. Stay tuned for more.